So whenever you need to remove the temp control and put the animation back to the ray control, you're gonna uh, bake it. So let's talk about this. So I have two ways of doing it. So bake keys or bake frames, as I mentioned in the other video. Um, I personally prefer to work with the bake keys uh, most of the time because it's uh, a little bit cleaner but if you like to just bake everything you can do it that way as well so for example if I create a control here it's going to maintain uh, keys exactly where you are it was in the source uh, read control and the same thing vice versa like if I'm uh, now animating the temp control I can create some keys let me delete this one I create another one and then if I bake it it's going to bake on those keys one important thing here is that it's going to only care about translations and rotations, not, not scale, so scale will, will be kept the way it is, uh, in the case of the sim simple control. Um, if you bake the keys, uh, one good thing to have enabled is the smart tint case, because if you do that and then you create a control for instance it's going to create those green keys here and what that means is that I can if I later on need to only delete those green keys I can do it here um, as you you might have noticed that uh, Maya showed up some green keys on top of the yellow ones that's a uh, Maya bug that was introduced in, I think it was 2020, and they never fixed it. So those keys are actually yellow. They just turn green. Like if you say so you, you convert this to a key, that's a breakdown. See, like it's not even green anymore. And then if I tint this one, it doesn't doesn't know the difference when you have two of them. So it's kind of a bug, but underneath. It, it still works, so that's that's fine. Um, in the same way, like vice versa, like creating the temp control or baking it will respect this those modes here. So when when do you use bake keys and when do you use bake frames? Why? What's the difference? Uh, in uh, practical terms so if you use uh, whenever you create a temp control the pivot point might change uh, you might change the pivot of place you might change the space so when you do when you change the spaces all the um, the twins all the in-betweens from one key to the next would, would behave in a specific way. If it's in world space, it would do one thing. If it's object space, it would do another thing. The keys will be exactly the same. The position of the control or where the keys are. So that's when you need to use bake frames if you want. If you want like all the animation to be very precise when you, when you create or bake a control but if you want to work in a more like a clean way you can use bake keys and then if you have just a section that you need to uh, be like frame by frame because of the interpolation is you want to maintain it you just create some keys in there and then you can bake it that way um, So what's uh, there's two uh, ways to that's similar to bake it. So there's the clear and bake. 
So I'm going to create a control here again. And I'm going to open the outliner so you can see what's going on. So all the nodes are stored here in this uh, parent node here. So I have here my control. Now let's uh, let's see if I if I bake it. Let me just select, of course. So if I bake this one, everything goes away, <clears throat> and the animation is put it back to the control. But let's say I don't want to. Uh, remove everything I just want to toggle it off so that's uh, underneath is pretty much the same the only difference is that it keeps the the nodes in there so if you need if you need you can go in here and toggle it back on again so that's a good way like if you want to just make some sections and you're not sure if you are ready to delete it yet or just want to see how that would look like on the main rig controls you can just toggle it on and off and you can toggle it from uh, on the menu here or like take a look at those shortcuts because if you use something like a lot you might need to take a look at here for example the toggle is just alt and click so I can just click alt and click this button it's gonna toggle it on and off and the other way is by clicking on this button here on uh, temporary control from uh, from the panel. Um, yeah, there's a tip here, like if you have several controls, let's see, I have one for that, I have another one for this. So, if I have something like this, I can either select, if I select just, a, let's say I select just this one, and then I toggle it off, it's going to toggle just that one, but if I have nothing selected, it's going to toggle everything, or bake it, for the sake of the example, if I do this, it's going to bake everything with no selection. Now this is a, one thing that is very important. Um, when you create a temp control, it's driving translations and, ro and rotations usually. So when you change the space of things, you are going to expect keys on all of those six channels here, always, because uh, let's see an example um let's see this control here for instance it doesn't have any animation like it has some keys but there's no animation on it if i turn this into world space it's going to have some curves there already right because it's now like it's not going to behave uh, parented to anything anymore move this it's going to stay there so in order to keep the same position that they that that it was before all those channels need to be keyed no matter if you just had key on the X or the rotations or whatever it's gonna key all of it whatever there is a key so that's one thing to expect it's like you never uh, and that happens like if I I can clean those keys if I want, but then if I clear and bake this control, it's going to key all over again. So that's one thing to keep in mind, because when you are switching spaces, you need to understand that part that it needs uh, to key all of it.